I drove my Polaris Razor 1000 to the Fujifilm booth because we're talking about the Duvo 25 to 1000. This is NAB 2023. Hop in the car. Let's go for a ride. New Film School's NAB 2023 coverage is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Lexar, live for the memory. 25 to 1000, Fujifilm. Let's go. We're here at NAB 2023 with our new Duvo Cinema Box Lens. So, so for us, what we do, we spend a lot of time evaluating the market and trying to figure out what's needed, what's missing, what, how can we innovate mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a manufacturer, as a brand. So the new Duvo series of lenses really brings to the market a native PL mount lens with extreme focal lengths. Mm -hmm. being, so, so being duo, it's a dual application lens. It mm -hmm. can be used in broadcast, it can be used in cinema, mm -hmm. it can be used in sports, mm -hmm. and live event. Mm -hmm. So we're giving the ability for content creators to bring that cinema look, that shallow depth of field, expanded color space, great dynamic range to live events. Awesome. Where, where you wouldn't have been able to do that before. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. I mean, I, I've noticed like you look at sports and you're seeing the shallow depth of field, you're seeing that kind of cinema style imagery in, in these kind of spaces where you hadn't traditionally seen that. The PL mount allows you to take this and put it on like a body that you probably wouldn't have put it on before. But you say extreme focal length, what are we talking about here? We're talking 25 to 1,000 mil. In one, in one lens, 25 to 1,000 mil, uh, uh, APS-C or Super 35 mil image circle, mm -hmm. but in the turret, there's actually an expander. Okay. So now we can cover full frame as well. Oh, wow. So that dual, not only cinema and broadcast, but also Super 35 and large format. Oh, awesome. All in a single lens. Um, what what we, kind of f-stop are we talking about here? We're starting at 2.8. Oh, great. So now these do, these do ramp. Mm -hmm. So we're in, we're in f5 at, at 1,000 mil, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So, so that's still very usable. Right, right. We can use this in nighttime mm -hmm. games, events, concerts, in theatrical environments. Mm -hmm. So cer certainly yeah. very usable. Also, I, ISOs are getting so high these days, like f5 isn't what, it, what it f5 used to be. For sure, for sure. But f5 at 1,000 mil, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's... Yeah, and, and how do we do that? Yeah. It's physics. Mm. You know, the front barrel on this is 220 millimeters. Mm. It's a big piece of glass. You're not going to get a, a regular filter that goes on a 2,000 mil diameter. I'm just saying, it's not a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now that said, that's a good segue into how we're trying to work with third parties mm to bring some of that um, cinematic look to this lens. So you can see the cage from wooden cameras on, on here now. Oh, beautiful, That's yeah. a first for a box lens of this type. You know, a lot of sports guys like having shotgun mics up on top, but they'd normally gaffer tape them on there, right. Velcro them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that the, the mic's getting its full range when it's, 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 it's sandwiched onto the top of the lens. That, you know, having a readout of the lens data for your, your, your focus puller or your assistant on the side. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's all kinds of different things we can do here. You mentioned filters. We're, we're going to be meeting with some of the filter manufacturers here. There's an ability at the back end of this lens to put filtration there. Oh, awesome. So, so give you some, some options there. We're talking, you know, even having potentially, you know, mount some flags on here, map box from there. Mm -hmm. You know, your standard map boxes aren't really going to fit on here. So, yeah, yeah. so we're really looking to, to find ways to work with that production community to bring the tool set. I understand you have a new, another lens in the system that was just kind of revealed. Well, you know, we call it the Duvo series. Yeah. So a series would imply there's more than one. Right, right. This, of course, is a big heavy lens. Mm. So there's a lot of positions in a show mm. where maybe you need something handheld. Right. So the next lens that we announced uh, here at NAB for the first time is a portable Duvo lens. Mm. It's a 24 to 300 mil. Uh, it'll be a T2.9. Mm. Uh, it's small, lightweight. Um, it's got an ENG, what we call an ENG servo drive, okay. so very much like the news shooters and the sports. Mm -hmm. So it's got that attached to it, so you've got your, your focus and your zoom right in the hand. Uh, you put it on your shoulder and, and go shoot that way. So bringing that handheld, portable mm -hmm. solution to the Duvo line. It was interesting, like as a filmmaker, I was always like, oh, we shoot on primes. And then the, my first time shooting on a Sony Zoom, I was like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Like this is, this is way more flexible. You, you come up with shot ideas in the field, in the moment. And then now when you're seeing those applications, like, I mean, 25 to 1,000, that's, you know, mind blowing, but also that 
enables you to be more creative in the field. A big part of our messaging is using a Fujifilm Sydney zoom lens isn't an optical compromise relative to shooting a prime. You know, we've, we've shot side-by-side -side footage and asked professionals, tell us which one's the prime, which one's the zoom, and they can't tell the difference, right? So the beauty is, you know, if you need T15, for sure, you need to go to a prime. If you need to be that absolute smallest package, for sure, go with the prime. We're, we're you know, what we, um, what we are very proud of is our zooms intercut with the best primes in the world. And, and, and that, that's no easy feat. It really, right? yeah. and, and like you said, that gives you now the flexibility. If, 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 you know, if, if you've got someone framed up and you just want to get in just a little tighter to get that, that real raw motion, yeah. While, yeah. while the actor's in the moment. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, we're gonna change lens. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, that kind of just breaks it down. If, yeah. if you can just reach down and, you know, pull in five mil. Yeah. Or even with a, a slight, you know, tripod move, position move, you know, it's like boom, then you swap the lens. You know, it's just, it's always yeah. like yeah. burning yeah. time off of your day. And having the Sunny Zooms to me was like an eye opener of, hey, the, you know, I've shot on the MKs, I've, I've shot, you know, it's like, yeah. that's a game changer as far as being able to be creative in the moment. What do you see as the kind of future? What, what, what is Fujifilm as a, a company that, that all of us look to as, as people who have your eye, hand on the pulse of right now, but you also, you mentioned your R&D team, you're thinking about what's next. What are you thinking about next? You know, we're seeing a lot of collaboration with the cameras. In, in our world, in the OD, what we call the optical device world, which is these lenses, we off, obviously work with other camera brands. Right, so we have to collaborate with them. There's a lot of communication between the camera and the lens, a lot of really cool functionality you can build in to manipulate your image when, when the lens talks to the camera. Uh, we have, you know, in some of our broadcast world, we're, we're bringing autofocus into that professional world, which is, is, has never been there uh, before. But also on the camera side, you know, you'll, you'll see here on the floor our Promistas and our Cabrios on the X series or the GFX cameras. So, so, so the uh, evolution of both our world and, and our sister division on the camera side in their world, you know, what can we do bringing those two worlds together? Beautiful. There's some, 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 some great options uh, in the future for that too, so we'll see where all of that goes. Okay, Sash, thank yeah. you so much. No problem.